but it's also a description of reality. There's no question people are shrugging in a sense already. Uh, if, it, if, if they're going to regulate us and they're going to tax us as much as they do, there are people who are not doing what they would otherwise. The people who are producing less, the people who are working fewer hours. People, to some extent, shrug when they're placed in that circumstance. You know, when things get really bad, and that is, and you can't fight it. Uh, and it's a prescription when you have somewhere to go. And the problem is that the, the real liberal device is called Gulch, which doesn't exist, by the way. So you shrug and you go and strike it, what do you do? You know, the nice thing about that shrug is you go to a valley and you fight to come back. And, and so it's much more complicated than what we live in. Uh, and, and, I think, and I think that decision that individuals are making every day about how much to work and what to work and what to do is, is becoming more and more difficult. Science, the science, but let's grant them that science 
from it. Let's say the globe is warming, and there's a next step that's called causing it, which the science is very dubious. Uh, but let's grant them that. Let's grant them that human beings are causing global warming, and it's the CO2 that we're putting out there that's causing it. What is the remedy? Is the remedy to stop industry, and stop production, and stop consumption, and, and, and lower standard of living, which would be devastating, and I think that's, that's part of what they want. And, and think of it in this terms, I'd like to use this example. Imagine you, uh, 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 you know, people talk about the third world, and the impact of global warming has on the third world, so let's take them on at their word. Imagine you, a native in Africa, in middle of Africa, uh, the temperature is 95 degrees, it's really, really hot, you have no air conditioning because there's no electricity in your village, right? And you have two options, you can keep the status quo, you have no electricity, and therefore keep your carbon footprint really, really low, and you'll always live with 95%, 95 temperatures and no energy. Or you can build the electricity, the infrastructure, all of that, as a consequence of your human activity, the temperatures go up to 100, but now we have air conditioning. I take the air conditioning any day. <laughs> any day. And I think most human beings would. The solution to global anything is more freedom. The solution is more production, more wealth creation, so we can handle whatever nature throws our way. Look, there's going to be an ice age one day. There, there were ice ages thousands of years ago. There's going to be an ice age in the future. What are we going to do when ice age comes? We're going to hunker down and, and, and pretend that we caused it and therefore stop living? No. We're going to develop technologies to make it possible for us to live during ice age. We're going to, we're going to change our environment to meet our needs, which is what human beings have done forever. It's only in modern times that the idea is, no, the way to solve problems is to stop problems. No, we need more problems. We need more freedom, we need more capitalism, so we can deal with the problems that, you know, how, why do we in America deal with hurricanes better than they do, you know, in, in Rome, you know, in uh, Myanmar, one of these things, right? They are hundreds of thousands now, I mean, with all the tragedy Katrina was, you know, uh, not that many people actually died in Katrina relative to what would have happened in the third. Why is it? Because we've industrialized, because we, we, we have technology because we build stronger buildings because we know how to deal with these things. You know, we can bring food and supplies into these areas. They can't do that in my heart because they're so primitive. Do we want to go back to this space so that we can't deal with nature anymore? No. The whole idea of human progress is finding ways to deal with what nature throws our ways. And that, so that's my answer. My answer is always, is there an insurance solution? Let the markets figure it out. 